this is an Ender 5 Plus big bed 350 by 350 by 400 Sort of a gantry method, not X, Y, but the gantry moves instead of the bed moving backwards and forwards. This gantry moves backwards and forwards, as you can see here. So that can speed up the nozzle printing. I've got this set to 100 millimeters per second. But what I wanted to show you is that this sort of cable, which is these are all the cables from the hot end and the BL touch and the fans. Yes, it does have a BL touch on it. These, this tends to rub against either this coupling here or the bar. So I'm trying, just now designing a, a thing that will hold it off a bit. That will clamp in this rail here with a T-nut. That is a plan. So I'll show you that. So sometimes I think it can catch on there a little bit and it's not really very good because it's going to wear it out eventually. It's pretty tough this plastic, quite springy, it does have a, like a join in so you can open it up quite easy. Well, easy-ish, it's very springy. Try and show you that as much as I can. I'm working on that now, I'll show you the Tinkercad file I'm working on. To hopefully, the plan is to have a sort of piece coming out that will hold that off but still allow for movement. Because this might want to still move a bit up and down, so to speak. But hold it off that, uh, particularly this coupling nut type device here which just have some rough edges on because of the balls going through if that catches on like this this is grooved so if that catches on these grooves in, in this covering and it's not really the best idea this is uh what is it my front well it's the front humidity thing for my, that I'm working on, take a bit of time because I'm waiting for a Peltier cell. Uh, this is like a revised version of the humidity removal device for a bigger fan mainly. 25mm instead of the 10 millimeter, which I don't think was really powerful enough. Uh, I'll just show you that display again because I want to talk. You're only allowed, so far as I know, don't quote me on this, you're only allowed 15 characters for your file name and no directory names on the card on it. So this is coming from an SD card, small micro SD card in the side here. So you're very limited to the file names and because you can't put them in directories it's very hard, hard to organise them so far as I can see. I'm just going to adjust to show you the settings so we oops okay print speed 100 nozzle 200 bed temperature 60 turn off economics it's best to have economics off well so far as I know well what I've been told it is but when I put this on pause that it still cools down the bed. So if I press pause there now I can pause the print and it will park the head in a safe position or it will start cooling down the bed which, and the nozzles for that matter. But that can be problematic if you're using the heat to keep a part on the bed. It needs that temperature to keep the part sort of adhered to the bed. Just going to adjust. That's the distance I have set at the moment. You'll have to set yours 
So let me have a look. Just a second, sorry about this. Let me try and it's very awkward at the moment because I've only just set up this printer recently. So bigger the bigger the number, not the bigger the value, the bigger the number, the lower down it goes the closer to the nozzle. So it wasn't 280 minus 2.80 that is. That was too close, so change it to 240 and that's somewhere near. I think it still does need a bit of tweaking as you might see. It does look a little bit rough there on that, especially here, that, that is rough here. It's, I think it's coming the second day now. Hair on there, get that off. So I'll show you the Tinkercad file I'm working on for this. Like guide cable, well, wire cable guide, wire guide. I already have a strain relief for the cables on here. Might just see the edge of it there. I think this is quite a long print, I'm not sure how long this will take, quite a few hours. Yep. So that's enough for that, I'll put the Tinkercad file on here, I'll show you that, show you around it a bit. Here I am in Tinkercad, this is the part I've been working on. So basically the big sort of guy, well cable covering will come through this thing and it's got freedom to move a hole for putting a T-nut in and just hold it out. Quite a simple piece to a certain extent. I haven't printed it out yet. So printing, you probably hear the printer going now, that's printing the uh, humidity front part. Humidity removal front part, that will take a few hours. So I'll be printing this out soon. Yeah, so there's a look around. Still in development, so to speak. <laughs> 